We will now establish communication using Modbus TCP from a C2 NRED module to the Ethernet ports of the BRICS, Do More, and Click PLCs. Previously, we installed version 5.31.0 of No Red Modbus Contrib Package. We utilize the C2 NRED Package Compatibility Finder to locate and download this Node Red Package. Efficient PLC communication is essential for seamless operations. In this process, we will use the installed Modbus nodes to read 10 registers from the BRICS Do More PLC and write these values to the Click Plus PLC. This will be done through the Ethernet port on a C2 NRED module. The C2 NRED Node Red module is a versatile platform for integrating different systems and enhancing the overall efficiency of industrial setups. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Setting up the BRICS Do More PLC Setting up the BRICS Do More PLC is critical in establishing a robust industrial automation system. The BRICS Do More PLC, known for its reliability and versatility, offers advanced features that cater to a wide range of industrial projects. We have an entire series on the BRICS Do More PLC. Configuring the BRICS Do More PLC involves setting up the Ethernet port with a fixed IP address and enabling the Modbus server or slave. Call up the system configuration in the Do More Designer programming software. Select the system configuration under Tools in the Project Browser menu. This can be also selected from the main menu PLC System Configuration. The system configuration window will be displayed. Under the CPU configuration selection, which is the default, you will see the Industrial Ethernet Port configuration. This will show you the current IP address that has been assigned. Select Configure. This will allow us to set the static IP for our network. Select Close. Under the Modbus TCP Server configuration on the same page, ensure that the Enable Modbus TCP Server is checked. We will leave all of the default settings for the Modbus TCP settings window. Note that the port for Modbus TCP is 502. We will need this and the IP address for our next step. Node-RED C2 and red Modbus Flow We will set up our Node-RED C2 and red module for our Modbus TCP communication. Using the Click programming software, we have connected to our Click Plus PLC and are viewing our previous ladder logic program where we installed the Modbus nodes. Call the C2 and red module configuration window by selecting C2 and red under the main menu, Setup, Slot 0 setting. You will see the static IP address for our node red module and the setup parameters we have discussed previously. We can now select the port management setup under the C2 and red module configuration window. This will display the port management setup window. You will see our existing MQTT port. We can now add our port 502 for our Modbus TCP communication. Select OK to add our port for the Modbus. Select OK to close the port management setup window. Finally, select OK to close the C2 NRED module configuration window. Our port is now set up for Modbus TCP communication. Node-RED is a powerful tool for industrial automation, offering a seamless solution for Modbus communication. The Node-RED nodes and flows specific to Modbus TCP allow users to unlock a world of possibilities in PLC programming and data acquisition. C2 and red Modbus TCP flow to read BRICS Do More PLC. Open our previous flow using the Click programming software. This can be done by selecting the PLC menu option on the Click programming software. Select Ethernet and then choose Connect. Your default browser will be displayed with the flow program we created last time. We will add a tab for our new flow for our Modbus Communication. Select Add Flow and name the tab Modbus TCP. Select Done. 
added inject function, Modbus flex getter, and Modbus response nodes into the workspace. Connect the nodes together. In the help section for the Modbus Flex Getter, select the code example for multiple inputs. Right click and copy this selection. Double click on the function node. Paste this code example into the on message tab of the function node. We will separate the parameters to make it easier to read. The function node will be 3 to indicate we are reading holding registers. Unit ID, which will be 1, which we are reading at address 0, and we'll read 10 registers. Select Done. The red triangle on the Modbus Flex Getter node means we must set up this node or provide additional information. Double click on the node. The red box indicates that we must set up the Modbus client so it will know where to send the instructions that we have to set in the function node. Add a new Modbus client. Our type will be TCP and the host will be the address for the Bricks Do More PLC that we just reviewed. Our port will be set for 502, which is the default. All other settings will be left as their default. Select Add. Our Modbus Flex Getter node is now set to communicate with our Bricks Do More PLC. Select Done. Select Deploy to write program into the C2 NRED module and execute our flow. Select the Inject or Timestamp node to test our flow. You will see that the Modbus Response node will show you the information returned from the Bricks Do More PLC under an array called Data. Using the Data View window in the Do More Designer software, we can change and verify the registers that are being read. This test ensures that our node red flow is working as intended. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Setting up the Click Plus PLC. Returning to our Click PLC programming software, call up the COM port setting window. Main menu, Setup, COM port. Select port 1 in the COM port setup window. We will ensure that we configure this Click PLC Ethernet port with a fixed IP address. This will enable our Node Red Flow program to find this PLC on our network. The default for the Modbus TCP server is enabled. In the Click Programming software, we will verify this by selecting Modbus TCP from the main menu, Setup. This is chosen in our case with the default port 502. Select OK. The Click Plus PLC, just like the Bricks Do More, is now set up as a Modbus server or slave on our network. We can now write the information to our Click PLC and read the information from our Bricks PLC on our Modbus network. C2 and Red Modbus TCP flow to write the Click Plus PLC. Returning to our flow program, add a function, Modbus flex write, and another Modbus re response node. Join the Modbus flex getter node to the new function node, then the new function node to the Modbus flex write. Then join the Modbus Flex Write to the Modbus Response node. Under the Help menu for the Modbus Flex Write, copy the multiple write example. Paste this in the new function node under the On Message tab. We will separate the parameters to make it easier to read.
The function code will be 16 to indicate we are writing holding registers. Unit ID will be 1, which we are writing at address 0, and we will write 10 registers. Select Done. The red triangle on the Modbus Flex Write node means we must set up this node or provide additional information. Double click on the node. The red box indicates that we must add the Modbus client to it, so it will know where to send the instructions that we have just set in the function node. Add a new Modbus client. Our type will be TCP and our host will be the address for the Click Plus PLC that we just reviewed. Our port will be set for 502, which is the default. All other settings will be left as their default. Select Add. Our Modbus Flex Write node is now set to communicate with our Click Plus PLC. Select Done. Select Deploy to write the program into the C2NRED module and execute our flow. Verify using the Modbus response nodes that everything is working as expected. We will change the inject node to trigger communication for our flow automatically. Double click on the inject mode. Change the repeat interval to set this to 0.2 seconds. The communication will happen every 200 milliseconds or 5 times a second. Select Done. Select Deploy to write this program into our C2 NRED module and execute our flow. The Modbus response node will show the information returned from our Bricks Do More PLC under the data array. The Modbus response node for the Modbus write will show this same data written. Using the data view window in the Click PLC programming software, we can monitor the registers we are being written. This ensures that our node read flow is working as intended. With the potential of the Click Plus in conjunction with the C2 and Red, you can optimize data acquisition streamline communication, and elevate the efficiency of your automated projects. This integration simplifies the connection process and enhances industrial automation systems, overall performance, and reliability, making it a valuable asset in PLC communication and automation projects. To review how we found and installed the Modbus nodes with our recommended version, click here. Click here to learn more about the Click Plus PLC.